everyone welcome in learn chi here we are with our 10 mcq series and today we are going to discuss about 10 mcqs of fluid mechanics right so this is our part 2 if you haven't watched part 1 please watch that video was very basic of fluid mechanics and i have taken very important and basic questions of fluid mechanics there and in this video i'll take some good question of fluid mechanics if your basic good you can easily give the answer if not then you will learn from here okay so before starting the video if you haven't joined learn chi youtube channel you can subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you could get in latest notification of our videos and if you haven't joined our social media handles like facebook instagram telegram twitter so you can join there as well and ask your queries related to your studies related to your career so let's jump into our first question so here is our first question is a centrifugal pump is designed for handling water okay and that water has a viscosity is one centipoise will deliver dash when pumping a thicker oil which has a viscosity 30 centipoise okay so there was one centrifugal pump which usually handle water okay and that water has a viscosity is one centipoise right and if we will deliver oil that has a viscosity is 30 centipoise then what will happen okay so as earlier we were handling the water in centrifugal pump now we have to handle thicker oil okay and that thicker oil has a higher viscosity than water then what will happen we can simply understand that a centrifugal pump designed for handling water will deliver more capacity no it is not going to deliver more capacity why because first it was handling water and that water has a viscosity one centipoise now it is delivering thicker oil that has a viscosity 30 centipoise means 30 times thicker okay so it will not it does not make any sense of more capacity and more head no it cannot more head why because of it high viscosity okay now this option is not right this option is not right now we have two options less head and less capacity and less head and more capacity okay if more capacity is not in not the option okay here so option d is also not going to be right option so option c will be right answer here okay why because it will give less head as well as less capacity okay very very simple question but good one okay this is very very good question and this type of question basically asked in the interview in the vivas in the examination as well and if your basic is good then you can easily give the answer now our second question is poise and stock are the units of okay these both are the unit okay this dash respectively here are the four options the first one is stress and viscosity the second one is pressure and new and kinematic viscosity the c one is viscosity and kinematic viscosity and the fourth one is force and pressure okay so poise what is poise poise is a unit of viscosity a cgs unit of viscosity so the first option should be viscosity right here is a stress so it will not be the right answer it is also not the right answer and this is also not the right answer and the stock stock is a unit of kinematic viscosity right so option c is going to be right answer right and stock is also written as meter square per second right can you let me in the comments box what is the analogous of kinematic viscosity in heat transfer and mass transfer please let me in the comments box okay so this was our second question now the third one very very easy question if you are just if you are thinking that the statement is long so this question will be tough no this question is also very easy okay the question is the relation between stress tau and the strain weight that is dux by dy and here is dux means the direction is 
in the x direction right for the rapid flow of a granular material is given by tau is equal to b dux by dy square where b is a constant okay m l and t are the mass length and time dimension respectively what is the dimension of constant b so this is a question right and we have given that tau is equal to b and here is du x by dy square right and we have to find the dimension of this one right so this is our what is this this is our shear stress okay and i can write this shear stress as force divided by area right now this is my b and this is a velocity right dux so what is velocity velocity is meter per second right so i'll i'll simply write here meter per second right uh, the unit and it has a unit of meter so i'll write here meter now this is my square okay and this is a force okay how can i expand it in in the in the form of dimension you can simply write what is the unit of force the unit of force is newton the unit of area is meter square right so here newton how can i write the newton newton is mass into acceleration right so the unit of mass is kilogram the unit of acceleration is meter per second square okay so kilogram kilogram has to denote with m right m that is that has a unit of length okay so i'll denote it with l and the time that is second here i'll write it as t okay just put these all into f and that is the meter so i'll write simply l square put in this equation and you will get your answer okay the main thing was how to write the dimensions and i have tell you how you can write the dimension okay first you have to expand it then you have to write the units and according to unit you can write the m l and t okay and you have to give me the answer in comments box whether a b c and d okay now the fourth question is this is also very very simple question which of the following quantity is dimensionless so here are the four option a b c and d right so specific speed specific volume specific gravity and specific weight these are the option which you have given now we have to select the right answer so what is the unit of specific speed okay this is the speed okay whenever we use any word like specific it means that per unit mass right so speed per unit mass volume per unit mass gravity per unit mass you can say and the specific weight means weight per unit mass okay and here the specific speed it has a unit of speed per unit mass right same as specific volume specific volume has a unit of cubic meter per kilogram right same with specific weight that will be weight had has a unit of newton per kilogram okay now here is the specific gravity right so specific gravity is the ratio of density of the fluid right and divided by density of specific fluid okay and here are the same unit right the density and the density and the unit will be kilogram per cubic meter that's why it will be dimensionless okay so specific gravity will be the right answer now the fifth question and the fifth question is delivery of insufficient quantity of liquid okay the delivery of insufficient quantity of liquid by a pump may be caused by okay here we are getting something right getting from pump 
एंड वी आर गेटिंग इन सुफिशियंट क्वांटिटी ऑफ लिक्विड राइट एंड इट मे बी हैपन ड्यू टू सपोज ओके इट मे बी हैपन ड्यू टू एयर लीकेज इन द इनलेट ओके एंड बिकॉज ऑफ लो आर पी एम लो मीन्स द स्पीड ऑफ द पंप एंड इट मे बी डेट द डिलीवरी पाइप और द डिलीवरी लाइक वेयर वी हैव टू डिलीवर द पंप फ्रॉम द इनलेट इट इज ऑल्सो एट ए वेरी हाई हाइट ओके सो दीज थ्री ऑप्शन ओके ऑल दीज थ्री ऑप्शन कैन बी द राइट आंसर डेट्स वाई द ऑप्शन डी डेट इज ऑल ए बी सी आर द राइट ऑप्शन ओके बिकॉज एनी वन कैन बी हैपन ओके बिकॉज एयर लीकेज कैन ऑल्सो बी द राइट आंसर लो आर पी एम कैन ऑल्सो बी द राइट आंसर एंड टू हाई ए टू हाई ए लिफ्ट मीन्स एट ए हाई हाइट ओके एट ए हाई हाइट इट मे बी द राइट ऑप्शन so that's why the option d will be the right answer now the sixth question is monometer is suitable for measuring only low pressure only high pressure both high and low pressure or only negative okay so what will be the right answer here only low pressure no this is not the right answer it is also used as a high pressure only high pressure no it is also used low pressure so these and these option are not right and the right answer will be option c Use high and low pressure. Only negative, it major negative pressure as well. But only negative is not the right option. So both high and low pressure is going to be right option. So whenever you are solving MCQs, first try to eliminate other options. Okay, it will make sure you that which option you are opting okay, and selecting that is the right option. Okay. Now the seventh question is. phenomena of cavitation relates to cavitation mainly you will occur in a pump okay due to the vapor pressure okay due to the vapor pressure you will see this phenomena in a pump and due to the cavitation you will see there there will be the noise within pump and that's why before operating the pump we do a priming in a pump so that we do not face cavitation okay and cavitation is definitely related to vapor pressure it will not the surface tension and capillary effect or viscosity why because of the difference of pressure liquid goes from inlet to impeller and via impeller to delivery right so that's why the right answer will be the vapor pressure now the eighth question eighth question is in centrifugal pumps okay cavitation occurs okay as earlier we discussed when pressure of the impeller i or vane becomes so here are the four options less than atmospheric pressure more than liquid vapor pressure less than liquid vapor pressure or more than atmospheric pressure first thing cavitation is related to vapor pressure right so that's why option a and option d are not going to be right option okay now we have the two option the first one is this and the second one is this okay now when the pressure of the impeller when the pressure of the impeller i or vane becomes more than liquid vapor pressure or less than liquid vapor pressure you know what happened in the pump when there is a pressure difference after that liquid pump via suction pipe liquid suck by the pump right so more than liquid vapor pressure will not going to be the right option why the right option will be less than liquid vapor pressure after that create cavitation and the bubbles form and that bubbles due to high velocity that bubbles strike on the wall of the pump or vane okay wall of the vane and due to which our pump may be damage okay so the right option is going to be less than the liquid vapor pressure okay when the liquid vapor pre pressure becomes lower than the pressure of impeller after that this situation creates okay now the ninth question very very simple question kinematic viscosity is defined as equal to the kinetic viscosity is defined or denoted by mu okay new you can say what will be this this is a the ratio of dynamic viscosity to 
10 right so what will be the right option this is this and this is not going to right option so option a is right option dynamic viscosity to density okay now here is the question here is the question for you all and the question is the value of normal atmospheric pressure is very 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 simple question okay here are the four options the first one is 10.33 meter of water b 1.01325 bar c is 760 mm of hg and the d is all of the above please let me in the comments box what will be the right option now the 10th question is stocks equation is valid in the Reynolds number range here are the four options the first one is 0 0.01 to 0 0.1 the b is 0 0.1 to 2 the c is 2 to 10 and the d is 10 to 100 okay so what is going to be the right option okay this question is also your homework why because for this question first you should have to know that what is stock equation why we use it okay what is the equivalent diameter if you know that what about the particle size how we define stocks equation in fluid dynamics for the particles and what is the significance of stocks equation after that you can give the answer of this question and how stocks equation is related to Reynolds number okay because we know why Reynolds number we use we use Reynolds number to determine the types of flow whether it is laminar transition or turbulent right so please let me in the comments box what will be the right option okay and this question is also very very simple but good question so today we discuss about 10 mcqs of fluid mechanics right so if you have doubt in any question you can ask me in the comments box if you have doubt in any topic okay of any subject in chemical engineering you can let me in the comments box i'll try to make the separate video for you okay you can also ask me the queries in our social media handles as well so that's all for the today's video thank you for watching